This week, I set up our many chat workflow, which means that in the future, whenever we want to promote our free training course on Instagram, all we have to do is encourage our Instagram audience to comment the word rock and the system will then generate a reply to that comment and also send them a DM with the link and information so that they could watch our free training course. Now, here's the cool part. We don't have to touch any of it. It's all automated. Oh, and did I mention it's free? So if you want to learn more about this tool that I used, ManyChat, to set up all of this automation so that you don't have to go in and physically respond back to comments and send people DMs so that you can promote your products, services, or even an email list a lot easier, then stay tuned. Let's start with a brief introduction about the tool that I used called ManyChat. ManyChat is what they call a bot platform that allows you to set up marketing initiatives using messenger marketing, text marketing, and email marketing. To give you an example of some of their capabilities, you can use it to create Facebook Messenger chatbots. So it will automate that little chatbot interaction on Facebook Messenger, automate your Instagram marketing, just like what we're gonna talk about here today, text with customers, connect with customers on WhatsApp, and connect to your favorite tool. So it has a lot of integration built into it. As I mentioned already, ManyChat has a free version, which you'll be able to do everything that we walk through in this tutorial today, but they also offer a $15 a month pro version. With what we're doing today, we are basically going to set the system up to where it identifies a keyword that we select when it's in the comments, and then that will generate a response. So it's gonna reply back to the comment, and then it's gonna send them whatever information we deem that we want it to send. But the difference with the two account versions, the free or the pro, comes in where if I selected the free account, then I would have to select what post I want this entire workflow to be applied to. So I could only choose one post. Now I know that I'm going to be promoting this free training course probably for the next couple of years. And so I want to be sure that for any of the posts that are on my Instagram feed, whether past or future, I want it to identify this keyword and go through the automation. So if you wanted to, let's say, stick with the free version, if I had chosen that route and I was still wanting to promote the same free training course, all I would have to do is go in there and every post that I make from here on out, I would have to set this system up or this workflow up. I don't wanna take the time to do that, which is why I just went ahead and paid the $15 per month. And it also opened up other capabilities for like texting and email marketing. Just something for you to think about. Now let's talk about what you want to have queued up before you log in to set up this automation. This right here is a diagram of the order that you'll set up the automation. First, you're going to tell it what post you want to apply this workflow to. Then you're going to tell it what keyword to look out for so that ManyChat can respond to it. Then you're going to tell it if you want it to reply to that comment, and if so, what you want that reply to be and then you'll tell it what message to send in the DMs. So here are the items that you need to know up front before you set this automation up. What piece of content or link do you want to drive people to? For example, are you trying to send people to a freebie, to a free training, a link where they can purchase a product or a download? Whatever it is, be sure that you know what that is and craft what you want the DM message to actually look like. What keyword do you want people to comment with so that it can trigger the automation? Do you want ManyChat to reply to their comment whenever they use that keyword? If so, then you want to know what you want the response to be to the comment. And if not, then you don't need to do anything else. 
All right, so now I'm going to log into my computer and show you how to set up this automation. To start with, go to manychat.com and I'm going to sign in. If you don't have an account created, you're going to need to set up the account, but it's really simple to do. The only thing I'm going to tell you is keep in mind that we're setting up this automation for Instagram, which means you're going to have to give it access to your Instagram account. So if you're feeling weary about that, the tool is not for you. But the way I did that was essentially because I have a Facebook account that in Business Suite that manages the season marketer. So my personal Facebook account manages the season marketer Business Suite. I had to give it access to my Facebook so that way it could connect to my Instagram on the back end. I'm going to click on sign in with Facebook. It has all of my information here. I'm going to select the account that I want to set this workflow up for. And over here, you have on the left hand side some um, options, home, contacts, automation, live chat and settings. To set up an automation, you can select automation right there and then start an entirely new workflow, but it's already here on my home screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize one of the um, templates that they already have preloaded. So right here, they're telling you they have a template to convert your Instagram comment into sales, use Instagram stories to generate more leads, and to show off your website to new visitors. So the one I'm going to select is this first one right here. And then it's going to tell you how it works. So I'm just going to hit set up template. All right, so this pops up on the screen. And what it's asking you to do is to tell it what you want it to say in the DMs and what you want it to link to or what information you want to attach. So for ours, I know that I want to send them to this page right here. This is our free training course where they need to put their first name in there and email. And so subsequently, this puts them in our funnel to sell our bigger course. So this is the link that I'm going to want to send them to. So this is what we wanted to say. Hi, sounds like you're ready to rock out your next event, craft fair, or pop up. Here is your link to access our free training three biggest mistakes business owners make at events, craft fairs, and pop-ups. And then for the link, instead of get the checklist, I want to come in here and put send me the video. And this is where I want it to insert the URL. So I'm going to come back over here and copy the URL for our training. That's where that goes in right there. Now I'm going to come back over here and Notice it's telling me how many characters I have left to be able to create the message. So you can't make it too long, but it will cap it at some point. But the other thing is I want to be able, I'm going to add a little emoji in here. Now this is done. What I'm going to do from here is I'm actually going to come over here to go to flow builder. And the reason I'm going to do that is Right here, this section is what's going to be the trigger. So it's setting up the parameters that it needs where you identify what the keyword is and on what post you want it to actually trigger for. So I'm going to come right there and it says, notice I have a drop down. So I have to select on a specific post or reel that I want to use this workflow on. Now remember, that is what you get with the free version. So if I did that, I would go in there and then hit select publication. And because it's accessing the back end of my Instagram, I would tell it for which of these I want to utilize this workflow on. Now, I don't want to do it for a specific poster reel. Instead, I want to do this for the next poster reel or any post or reel. And I'm going to select that one because remember I have the pro version, so I can. The next thing you need to identify is how you want ManyChat to crawl your comment section. So you need to identify the keyword that it's looking for. Now you have two options right here where it says and, and then it's got a drop down box. If you select comment contains any words, then basically what you're telling it to do is 
for any post or reel, as I've identified, anytime somebody comments on there, I'm going to generate this workflow. I don't want that. I want it to be very specific because I have a very specific thing that I'm trying to promote, which is a free training course, but that free training course is not going to be for everybody. It's going to be for a very particular group of our audience. So instead, I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to select comment contains specific words. Now, in here, I'm going to select keyword and then I'm going to tell it what keyword to actually do this for. And let's say I wanted to, uh, to do something like rock. All right, so now the third and final thing that you need to identify is do you want it to respond to the comment? Now, notice you can easily turn this on or off. So if you do not want it to respond to the comment with a reply, then you just turn that off. If you do though, you have the option to create a new response. So I'm gonna hit new response and I'm thinking whenever somebody comments rock, what do I want to tell them in the reply back to them? I'm going to say, great, check your DM, we sent you the link. All right. Notice you can add other responses on here. So if I want to add a new one, I can vary, you know, I can change it up some. So then I could say, excited to know you're ready check your DM, save. So you have plenty of options here. You can tell the system exactly what you want it to do. I've now hit save and it's showing me right here what the process is. This shows the trigger, how I have it set up. This shows the reply in DM. And then all I would do is simply come over here and hit publish and it would activate it. So that's a very important part. You need to hit publish. You also have the option in here to see a preview of what it looks like in the DMs. So if I come right here, I'm just going to select preview and it shows me on the right hand side of my screen exactly what it's going to look like for the person receiving it. The last thing I want to show you on here is where you can check to see what your statistics and analytics are. So if I come over here back to the home screen and I select automation, it shows what I have set up when I select it. So if I click on it, it tells me how many times it's been sent, how many unique contacts it's been sent to, how many emails have been collected and how many phone numbers have been collected. It's really nice to have it here in ManyChat as well if you just want a really brief snapshot of how well things are working. Hey, if you're an SOB, small owned business, then stick around and watch this next video right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have over 200 marketing videos that you can go and watch right now. So go check that out.